A Doncaster man has today been handed a life sentence for murdering a man and a teenager in Doncaster Town Centre earlier this year. Around half two in the morning on Saturday the 29th of January, the victims, Yanis Kozlovskis, who was 17 years old, and Ryan Theobald, who were 20, were outside a bar on Silver Street when there was a little altercation. A fight began between Yanis and a friend of the defendant, Amrich Jagra, which carried on as they moved along Silver Street. A few moments later, Ryan ended up in the midst of the altercation. As they reached the corner of Silver Street and High Street, CCTV footage showed that Ryan was approached by Jagra, who stabbed him and left him lying in the street. As Janice moved down the street, he was pursued by Jagra, who pulled him to the ground and stabbed him multiple times before fleeing the scene. Officers today released footage of the events which led to Ryan and Yanis's tragic deaths as both of their families are paid tribute. In the victim statement read out in court, Ryan's mother, Lisa, said, Not only has Ryan been killed, but something inside of me has been killed with him. I've been compelled to watch the heart-wrenching footage of my son's final moments, something no parent should have to do. I could not be with him at the time, but I am struck that after I was told about the death of my son, I noted that around the time of the death, I had awoken from my sleep. For what reason at the time, I could not fathom. She explained the ripple effect of Ryan's death extends far and wide across family, friends, neighbours and those at Bessacar Football Club where he used to play. She said, I know I will never have our old family back. I grieve for Ryan, the life and future he has lost and our family, life forever taken from those of us left behind. We now face a future where together we have to navigate what our new normal will be. Yanis's sister, Rosanda, also reflected on the impact his senseless death has had on her family. In a statement read out in court, she said there are no words that can describe the level of pain and loss we all felt that day and on every day since. Even though Yanis was approaching manhood, he was still the baby of the family. He was a fun-loving boy who enjoyed spending time with his family, but also going out with his friends. She said Yanis had his whole life ahead of him. He will never grow to be the man that we all hoped he would be. Life attack on Yanis, who was unarmed, was brutal. Having seen the CCTV of the incident and seeing Jagra take Yanis to the floor and stab him repeatedly was something that will haunt me for the rest of my life. I just want to say rest in peace Yanis and rest in peace Ryan and my condolences go out to both of your families. Detective Chief Inspector Lee Townsley, the senior investigating officer said, This case lies bare, the heartbreaking implications of knife crime. And whilst I am pleased that Jagra will now face a lengthy time behind bars, there is nothing that will bring Ryan and Janice back. They were both young men, just starting their journey into adulthood and all of that has been taken away from them in an instant. Within the two minutes of the fight beginning, Yanis and Ryan had been fatally stabbed by Jagra and left dying in the streets. The message today, those intent on carrying knives is clear. Drop the knife before you do irreparable damage and further lives are lost and ruined forever. So Jagra was found guilty of two counts of murder and possession of an offensive weapon and He's been sentenced to a minimum term of 24 years. Guys, let me know what you think with regards to this. Once again, rest in peace to the victims and my condolences go out to your family. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked, keep it real.